Hey Libra, welcome to your August love reading. Let's get straight into it. Um, I'm getting from your person, they're trying to be quite cautious and discerning. Perhaps they've stepped away from you for quite some time. For some of you, it could be um, quite a while. We have the Hermit card. It's like they're seeking answers. They've disconnected, they've retreated, they've withdrawn. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, so they're feeling alone. And they're trying to make decisions about the future. Okay, we have the hanged man in the reverse. Now, this is always someone who's not ready to take a step forward. It's someone who is thinking things through quite intently. Usually we see the hanged man with the yellow, um, what, what do you want to call it? The yellow, um, his, his crown chakra is illuminated and it represents someone who's doing a lot of thinking and contemplating. And you can see that in the two of wands. This person is trying to make sense of everything and determine the best path forward, okay? Um, it's like this person wants to take action, but they want to be sure because we have the Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight is passionate. He, um, he's on a mission. He likes to take action towards his desires, but it's like this person wants certainty before they take a step forward. We've got the full card in the reverse. Okay. So this person isn't quite ready to take a leap of faith. They're not quite ready to take a risk. I want to ask why, why is this person being cautious and discerning? Why are they hesitating? Angels and spirits, show me, please. Clarify, please. Why is Libra's person of interest not taking action? Why is Libra's person of interest not taking action? They're observing, okay? We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so they're trying to gather as much information as possible. We have the Two of Swords. They, they don't have clarity yet. They don't have all of the information that they feel they need. They're, they're currently blindfolded, okay? So maybe they're searching for some kind of confirmation, um, proof, evidence. All right, so let's see. What is... Libra's person looking for in order to make a move, in order to take action. What is Libra's person looking for, please? Angels and spirit. Six of wands. They want to know if they're going to have success in this connection. They want to know if they will be victorious. Six of wands. This is a card about victory. They want victory here. They don't want failure okay so what else does Libra's person want in order to take a leap of faith in order to take action here what does what is Libra's person looking for angels and spirit what is Libra's person looking for please It's like something never got off the ground in the past. We have the Knight of Wands again. So something was kind of on and off, hot and cold, in and out. So, and then the next card is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So there wasn't like a genuine offer or there were false promises or something didn't get off the ground. And this person um, wants to know if they make a decision to come forward, the lovers, it's a card about a choice. 
will next time around be successful because we have the judgment in the reverse so this is a card about second chances this is a card about rebirth it's come out next to the star in the reverse which is a card about wish fulfillment so they're not going to push for a second chance if they fear that their wish is not going to come true the star card in the reverse if they feel like they're going to be disappointed i feel like this person has done a lot of healing because the star card talks about healing it's come out in the reverse they don't want to undo their inner healing work okay or i'm also getting with the judgment in the reverse they're not quite called to action quite yet you know the the judgment card is a card about a call to action because usually you, you see the angel blowing the trumpet so it represents um, an opportunity to atone an opportunity to rejuvenate something that once upon a time came to an end it died um, it's it's a time of revival but when it comes out in the reverse this person isn't quite isn't quite called to action just yet perhaps they need to complete their healing and they want something to come to light we have the moon in the reverse they have a feeling that they're missing something that there could be something hidden from view and they want secrets to be revealed they want things that were once hidden to come into the light to be illuminated before making their move okay so this person's very calculated you know they they want to be equipped they want to be um armed with knowledge with truth that's what i'm getting let's have a look at this oracle deck here let's see show me libra's person's energy what's going on for libra's person what are they wanting? What are their intentions? Show me what's going on for Libra's person, please. What's going on for Libra's person? Yeah, they're, they're seeking connection. This person has felt disconnected with that five of pentacles energy. So they're looking for kinship. They're looking for support. They want to share. They want to connect. They're wanting to be a part of a team. So if um, that's what they're searching for, then they're not making a move unless they're sure that that's what you're wanting to live right. If you want to work with them, then I feel like they're 100% on board. But um, let's see what else we can get. Angels and Spirit, what is Libra's person wanting? Okay, they want adventure. They want renewal. There's a word on this card, renewal. So they do want um, a second chance here. They want a rebirth here. Interesting that these cards look really similar. Look at the artwork. Okay, so you've got um, the females looking in the same direction, which is behind. So this person's looking back. This person's looking to the past. We have the foxes in very very similar positions here this like this is honestly almost a duplicate these artworks are um, mirroring each other we've got the sparrows so they represent communication um so i feel like this person wants to communicate wants to work with you um definitely it wants communication okay they want adventure so they want to explore new possibilities with you this card says laughter spontaneity um interesting this person wants fresh new energy okay they don't want a repeat of the old and what didn't work they want something completely new is what i'm getting okay yeah look renewal this person wants renewal um healing rest so this person feels a bit weary from whatever happened in the past um they want a rebirth they want fresh uplifting new energy okay interesting um okay let's see what they feel towards you libra angels and spirit how does libra's person feel towards libra please 
How does Libra's person feel? How does Libra's person feel towards Libra? There's a bit of duality. Um, I'm, I'm sensing a bit of duality in this person with the chariot card. They want forward movement. They want momentum. However, you see how you've got the dark sphinx and you've got the light sphinx in this card there's a duality here so this person wants to move in your direction and then there's a part of them that they're still grappling with a bit of fear a bit of insecurity um, a bit of uncertainty okay so they would like to gain a sense of control you know the chariot card is a card about control of the vehicle you know being determined being focused to go in one particular direction they want certainty before any kind of choice or move is made is what i'm getting okay yeah they want movement we've got the six of swords here which is a card about passage they want to move out of the um uncertainty and the the choppy waves they want to get out of the um you know, up and down, roller coaster emotions, and they want peace. They're sailing towards um, calmer waters, okay? They want peace. I'm getting strongly that this person wants to come out of um, a period of turmoil, okay? And they want to move forward with you, is what I'm getting, okay? They want to put the past behind the two of you. Let's see what this person's intentions are towards Libra, please. They want to heal old wounds that may have been festering with the three of swords in the reverse. Okay, what are this person's intentions? What's this person's intentions towards Libra, please? What are this person's tensions? Oh, intentions, sorry. So I'm getting tensions, so there is tension in the air is what I'm picking up on. What is this person's intentions towards Libra? Yeah, they want to put this burden down, okay? It's been heavy on them. It's been weighing heavily on their heart. They want to let go. They want to release the heaviness, the tension, the emotional baggage. It's too much to bear for them, okay? What are their intentions? Yeah, they have felt emotionally drained for a long time. Very, very disappointed about how this connection came to an end in the past. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, they've got insecurities I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This may or may not be apparent to you. They definitely want communication. We have the Ace of Swords. They want to clear the old and make way for a new chapter. They want fresh new energy. It keeps coming through. They want to wipe the slate clean. They want renewal. They want victory. They want communication. Okay, so that's the Ace of Swords. They want clarity. They're sick of the confusion. Um, they're sick of the inconsistency. They want the truth is what I'm getting. Okay, all right. So let's have a look at more at the emotions that we have coming from this person. Angels and Spirit, show me. What is this person feeling towards Libra? There's resentment. Definitely they're carrying resentment. They know they need to let it go. Um, there's jealousy that needs to be healed here. Okay, this person feels a bit suspicious that you might be involved with someone else and they're feeling possessive to, over you. Okay, look, there's the uncertainty that they're grappling with at the moment they've got real um, um doubts that they're dealing with they they want to make a decision but there's something that they feel is missing okay that they need to know first and it's probably got to do with whether or not you are involved with someone else just give me two more cards for this person's feelings towards libra please How's this person feeling towards? There's definitely regrets. They're missing you. They're sad. Okay. There's remorse. They're feeling sorry. They're feeling repentant. They just don't like how things were left. And look, this is the burden. 
that they want to let go. They're feeling so heavy, bogged down with this emotional baggage. Um, they're feeling burdened by it. So they want to liberate themselves from that. All right, let's get clarity from this deck. What is holding this person back from Libra? What is blocking this person? What is holding this person back from Libra, please? Pain. Pain from the past. What is holding this person back from Libra, please? What is holding this person? Rejection. They don't want to be rejected. All right. So I'm going to take this further in the extended Libra, where I'm going to look at your advice, what you need to do. Um, if you want to get back with this person, what's coming up for you, regardless of you, if you want to return to this person or not, um, and anything else that spirit wants to bring through. I'll see you on the other side. Bye Libra.